Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't been here before, my name is Julie and I primarily make content surrounding topics such as mental health, makeup, and music. Today's video is music related with mental health sprinkled in. I will be reviewing Dance Gavin Dance's new album, Afterburner, which just released today. First off, I quickly wanna say that this is only my second album review. I am not someone with an extensive musical background where I deeply go in and analyze aspects of music outside of lyrics. When I review music, I tend to have a mental health focus because of my passion and interest in mental health, both professionally and personally. The way this video is gonna be set up is I'm going to go track by track and review each one lyrically and then give a short opinion on how I feel about the song. And at the end, I will wrap it up and give you my opinion on the album as a whole. If you haven't heard of the band Dance Gavin Dance before, they are considered to be a post-hardcore and experimental band, although they also sprinkle in other genres such as jazz, funk, as well as progressive metal. So they have a very unique sound and setup. They've been a band for a very long time with switches and members. They've been together since 2005. They are on Rise Records and this is their ninth studio album, Afterburner. It's 49 minutes minutes long in length and it has 13 tracks and we're going to get into those today. The first track on this album is entitled Prisoner. First of all, let's get into some of the lyrics. So we have the chorus, prisoner, prisoner, we found you, we feel you breathing, are you there? Can you hear us calling you? We'll never judge you. This song appears to be about a psychedelic trip, specifically taking acid because there are many visuals present in the music video that point to this theory. An interesting lyric by John Mess. If you don't know who John Mess is, he is the vocalist in Dance Gavin Dance who does the uncleans, whereas Tillian is the vocalist who does the cleans. John Mess tends to throw in really outlandish, interesting lyrics, which again makes the band so unique and creative as a whole. In this song, John Mess screams a lyric, lay in your lap think of your path. It seems like he's almost personifying a cat because a cat would lay in your lap. And according to Genius, he has a history of referencing cats in songs such as Chocolate Jagalope, which was from their album Mothership. Now, I don't have much to say beyond that about lyrics. I will say, currently, this is my favorite song on the album. I think it may be because it was the first single to be released, so I've been listening to it on repeat for a really long time. I find it to be a catchy song. It's energetic. If you've watched my previous music review of All Time Low, you know I love catchy and energetic songs, and the energy on this song is absolutely very consistent. I also find it to be an interesting representation of what tripping can be like, whether you agree with it or not. It's interesting how Tillian and John represent what this experience did for them in a spiritual and psychological way. On to track two. This track is called Lyrics Lie and also has a music video that goes along with it where Afterburner's album art cover is being painted as a mural and it's sped up and definitely cool to watch. Let's get into some lyrics. Verse one with Tillian, we have, I need to take some time off, focus on my brand, learn to love myself for who I am, find my destiny written in sand and let it all go to my head. I love these lyrics. I'm not entirely sure what they mean. However, focusing on his brand, I'm assuming has to do with marketing the band and having a business of sorts and being an entrepreneur in ways. I love the lyric in that verse, learn to love myself for who I am, because obviously that's mental health related. Self-love is super important. It's a great message that Tillian is admitting that he's not fully there and it's something that he wants to work on. In my opinion, this song appears to allude to how fulfilling it is to be successful, whether that is through art or business or other ventures. However, the lyrics do talk about how the world is competitive, in a sense, can eat you alive. Although I love the lyric Tillian says where he says, I've got what it takes to inspire you. Yes, Tillian, please inspire us, motivate us. I think this song has a great message and hopefully I'm interpreting it in a correct way, but maybe there isn't a correct way. I also wanna mention 
and if I butcher the name, I'm sorry, Mark Akubu from A Veil of Maya, who's the guitarist, is featured on this, as is Andrew Wells. Andrew Wells is from a band called Idola. They are characterized as an experimental post-hardcore band as well. In the pre-chorus, John Mess says, some of you guys asked about how I fit this in my mouth. There's a link below my pout, entrepreneurs rule, yeah. So the, the entrepreneurs rule line is what makes me think of this song has to do with pursuing your business ventures. <laughs> Outside of lyrics, I find the energy on this song to be consistent, and I appreciate that there's a mix of lyrics where Tillians tend to have deep meanings, and John's are more of musings, although th there is some depth to his unclean vocals in this song. In regard to vocals, Tillian's vocals are so strong. I find them to be strong on every single song he's ever done, including his independent work. When Tillian sings the word anyway at the end of a line, when he holds the note and does a vocal variation with that word, I felt chills. Lyrics Lie is definitely one of my favorite songs on the album as well, although similarly to Prisoner, it was the second single release, I believe, so I've had a lot of time to listen to it on repeat. Next up, we have Calentamiento Global, which translates from Spanish to English to global warming. This song is very interesting. I appreciate the aspect where some of the lyrics are in Spanish. I did, out of curiosity, go to Google Translate and try to figure out what the heck they were talking about. So one main lyric from Spanish to English translates to, I love you, my queen. You are the only one I see. I, I like that lyric. Although, I don't know if this is correct, so correct me if I'm wrong. The next lyric is, your hips heal the disease, the way you move strengthens global warming. So I'm not sure if this is alluding to that they are mad at a former love interest and don't really agree with her lifestyle per se, but I, I guess I'm somewhat confused by this song. I don't dislike it by any means. I think it's a good fit on the album since they are such a unique and experimental band and this song definitely has experimental elements in it. John does specifically say thoughts you thought you could ignore and there is a mental health aspect to this line of course because many of us when we have unpleasant thoughts instead of addressing and trying to process them or cope with them in a way we do attempt to ignore them although distractions are great techniques for intrusive or distressing thoughts we can't ignore them and we may come to this realization over time which it appears that John has. Track four is entitled Three Wishes. I found the music video to be cool because it was created by fans and encapsulated how the fans are coping and getting by during this horrific pandemic. Some of the lyrics I like are the verse where Tillian says, I won't tame you, I won't fade your shine, won't restrain you, I won't break your stride. I think this shows that he is having healthy boundaries and whatever relationship this may be alluding to. I also think it is so important that we acknowledge when someone has a shine, they have a passion, they have a strength, and in a relationship we shouldn't be controlling in any way or hold them back from anything. I find these lyrics to be empowering and encapsulating a healthy relationship. I also feel the lyrics show that despite Tillian and this love interest both having mental health struggles, he's still not going to hold her back from being herself. The specific lyric that alludes to this is, I guess I'm still learning that your brain is bizarre, but um, Tillian, you, your, your brain's definitely bizarre too, in the best way possible. I also like the angsty lyric in here with John where he just says multiple stab wounds, multiple stab wounds. Yeah, I'm not sure how these go together or are related per se, but I like the mix of something more profound and deep and then something that gets you pumped up. Track five is One in a Million. I don't have much to say on this track, although I do enjoy it. I like the lyrics, heal my demons, kill my prison. 
I feel this is alluding to a feeling stuck in mental anguish, and I do find it interesting since the song Prisoner was on the album that we are using the word prison, again here almost as a theme where prison is referring to being stuck and being tortured by all these demons and mental health struggles. I also like the chorus where Tillian says, heal my soul because I'm one in a million. I find these lyrics to be playful because it almost makes it sound like he has this ego and he's saying he's so important. Similarly to Lyrics Lie, I find this song outside of lyrics to be catchy and energetic, of course, and that's all I have to say for that one. Next up we have Parody Catharsis. In the intro we have Tillian saying, we feel this way, hiding from our pain and our mistakes, the vein, the shame, let these dirty veins go all the way. I find this to be a strong lyrical opener. I also find that it has some mental health aspects sprinkled in, of course. When we have strong feelings that are unpleasant, we may resort to hiding from our pain and mistakes instead of addressing them. The shame, oh, feelings of shame are so important to mention and talk about. Shame is a very common feeling for so many of us and it's something that needs to be addressed and processed. In the chorus we have, don't wanna be a shoulder to cry on, don't turn the light on, don't tell me your name. I know you're hurting, but at the same time, I need to numb my blood till I'm okay. As the world is crapping down, I'm falling in love. Don't need your common sense, I'm focused. As the world is turning round, I'm getting around. Don't need your common sense, I'm focused. Within the chorus, how I would break this down is not wanting to be a shoulder to cry on. It can be really exhausting in any relationship to be the go-to support person for someone, especially if you're struggling with your mental health. I like that Tillian validates, I know you're hurting, but I need to take care of myself. Even if he's saying he needs to numb his blood per se, he is attempting to find a way to care for himself. I also think the lyrics about the world crapping down, although I'm guessing they weren't written around the time of the pandemic, I think these lyrics are going to resonate with people due to current events happening in the world and how we're all feeling and many of us are struggling at the moment. In the bridge of this song, Tillian talks about blaming your behaviors or, and struggles on the weather and the devil. Many of us tend to blame our past actions or struggles on others. This usually is the victim stage of trauma. Although this can be the case when it comes to trauma, if there was a trauma perpetrator involved in our trauma, we do have to uh, eventually maintain a sense of agency where we take responsibility for our actions and I can see why he would be frustrated with someone who was constantly blaming other aspects instead of taking responsibility and essentially saying they suck. He has every right to feel that way. I appreciate that Dance Gavin Dance expresses themselves in a tongue-in-cheek kind of way and they absolutely deserve the artistic freedom to do so. Now we have the song Strawberries Wake. Strawberries Wake is definitely one of my favorite songs on the album. I think lyrically it's very impressive and also I'm biased. I find it to be the most mental health related song on this album so of course it's going to resonate with me and make me love it even more. In the song Tillian expresses wanting to heal from the past by apologizing. He expresses feeling lost. The line, I want to eat my fear, is funny because it's actually a coping skill to take a feeling and see it visually, like, there's my anxiety, there's my fear, and to do something, like, personify it, I'm gonna take my fear and eat it and put it away. So we're acknowledging the emotion and we're coping with it in a visual representation sort of way. I don't dance, Gavin Dance is aware that this is a coping skill, but boy, you got a therapeutic coping skill in there. So we love that. The refrain where Tillian talks about that everyone sins and is volatile at times, I find this to be very humanizing because sometimes when we are struggling or engaging in behaviors that aren't so great, we feel very alone and blame ourselves it's important to take the perspective of everyone has their own struggles and everyone makes mistakes and this can be very validating as well as humanizing to show that everyone has their own struggles. I feel this also justifies Tillian in having his struggles as well. 
I like the lyrics, roll the windows down, let the breeze blow heavy. I find this to be cool imagery to experience the fresh air and a calming sensation. I also like the contrast of blasting music in that calming environment, but for many of us, blasting music is a wonderful coping skill and does make us feel calm, even though it is very noisy. <laughs> Finally, we have the verse, if you feel your feelings, let the feelings heal your effed up mind, put your palms to the sky, and if you need some healing, let the feelings open up your mind. My interpretation of this, you should feel your feelings despite how painful they are. Allowing ourselves to feel helps us to explore what bothers us, how we process various situations, and in fact, it can contribute to enhancing our growth and development as human beings. So in a sense, I agree. Let the feelings open up your mind. By processing the feelings and acknowledging what they are, you are going to open your mind to new perspectives and learn more about yourself and grow. I like that the song starts off soft. I like that some songs on this album start off more intensely than others. I also like the lyric in this song, I want you to matter to you from John, where he also says to forget those backstabbers because people can really hurt us and negatively impact our self-esteem and I like this message that John is saying I want you to matter to you so a lot of us look for external validation and affection we want other people to say that we matter to them but it's really important that we matter to ourselves as well the next song is born to fail I don't have much to say about this song either I noticed the song is full of anger pointing at someone for being a failure I don't have much to say on this, these lyrics because they're more angsty and angry and although there are mental health aspects to that, I don't have much to analyze there. I do like when they have a song that is profound and deep, as I've previously said, and then move forward to a song that's filled with anger and angst because expressing those emotions is really important. I like that this song, since it has more angry lyrics, actually has a heavier beginning than the previous song, which had a soft beginning, so it contrasts well transitioning into this song. I also want to mention the drums on this track are so solid. The drums specifically really stood out to me here. Next up, Parallels. John Mess says, I love myself and I love you too. Thank you, John Mess. We love you too. I think this message is great. I'm glad John Mess loves himself. Maybe he's joking around. Who knows what he's really thinking, but I appreciate this hopeful message in tough times. The song to me appears to be about addiction and how someone knows it isn't right to be using per se. They are not ready to break away from it. In the beginning of the song, Tillian Tout's being alone as well as being able to be independent despite that. However, it appears that whoever the song is about, they are isolating to use. I don't have much to say on this song besides that. I think it's really important to talk about addiction and I appreciate that they talked about it on this song. I am guessing that's what it's about. I could be wrong, but there's definitely a huge mental health aspect to addiction because there is a mental health component that would lead to it in the first place, right? Next is the song, Night Sway. Tillian says he's forever let down and to not depend on him. He also says, I'm your prison, won't you listen? So we have that theme of prison coming back yet again. There's a strong opener in this song. It starts with Uncleans by John. The chorus by Tillian also has impressive vocals and he has amazing vocal variation in the song as well. The guitars in this song, all I have to say are they are really good. I like when guitars are fast and kind of have that progressive metal aspect. As I previously mentioned, Dance Gavin Dance does dabble in that progressive metal genre occasionally in certain songs. Next we have the song Say Hi. It appears to point to an abusive relationship and that Tillian feels he's a better option. He's normal. There's talk of spending yet another night alone and that this person doesn't care that they're alone. I think this is a common theme in songs talking about being alone at night because night, as I previously mentioned in my all-time low review, can be the hardest time for many of us because we are alone with our thoughts and expected to wind down and go to bed and live with them and that can be really hard as well as debilitating. I like the line, more thinking, more sinking, more mud. To me, this has to do with the more that we perseverate on our thinking. We tend to sink 
further into a hole of struggles and anguish, which can create more problems in our lives. This is the connection I specifically felt with the lyric where you are perseverating, then you're sinking, and there's more and more mud making you sink even more. John Mess's contribution in this song is so interesting to me. The lyrics, how do I say hi to another guy when I want to die? At first I was taking that very seriously, and then he goes further to say, oh no, I actually don't want to die, and <laughs> he's hoping his mom doesn't see this, and it just makes the song so playful and interesting to evaluate as a whole, since there is a serious theme and topic in it. I feel that John's energy specifically on this song is so consistent. He really goes all out with the unclean vocals, and I love when he speaks the us in his contribution for some reason, and I like that this song is heavy as well. We have two songs left, we're almost there. Next we have Nothing Shameful, which features Andrew Wells. The transition in this is nice because we go from John's uncleans to Tillian's upbeat cleans at the beginning of this song. My favorite part of this song, I have to admit, is the bridge by Andrew Wells. I think his vocals are honestly out of this world, so I'm definitely going to check out his band. The lyrics of the bridge are, so take me for granted. I know I never really meant that much to you. All the memories will be erased. The only way out is forward, as far away as I can get. Where to now? What happened to my effing purpose? I'm just a stone sinking broken and numb where to now the weight may be worthless truth is in the end we all end up alone can you feel me calling your name from the balcony since you left empty can you feel me tearing apart everything we used to be my interpretation of this song is that it is post breakup especially the specific bridge that i addressed here seems to entail lacking a purpose and feeling broken from the aftermath of this relationship also feeling that everyone eventually ends up alone. Tillian also discusses in the song that all this person did was take from the relationship, which we know is a toxic trait. Go check out my video on toxic people if you're interested to hear more. I think the breakup songs are very relatable. I think this song is going to resonate with a lot of people, especially if they've recently endured a tough breakup. Finally, the last song on this album is entitled Into the Sunset. It features a lot of people on it. It's got Johnny Frank, John Mess, and Will Swan on vocals. We have some lyrics, am I good enough for your love? Do you even know you've lost yourself? Are you okay? Those lyrics to me allude that this song is about another relationship that has some toxic and unhealthy elements to it where the other person involved that is unhealthy can't see it and can't see that they are not in a good spot. The lyrics seem to express that the other individual in the relationship is worried about them. There are many playful lyrics on this one, especially by Will Swan, and I'm not going to read those. I would say lyrically, this is probably one of the most insane songs out of all the songs on the album, but I feel since it's so high energy, you can tell there was so much effort put into creating this album in general, but especially this song. I feel it's a really strong closer and a good way to end the album. And I also like the cool electronic beats that are present in the song. Let's wrap this bad boy up. Here are my final thoughts on the album. I love it as a whole. If you couldn't guess, there's not a single song on here that I don't feel is strong or does not accurately represent Dance Gavin Dance's talent, ability, and potential. The lyrics are extremely unique. The cleans and uncleans are a good contrast. I appreciate everyone's insight that contributed to this album. I also, of course, love the mental health aspect because the album addressed lyrically very important topics in mental health. We have addiction, discussions of self-esteem, even suicidality, depression, relationships, breakups, and even abuse, such as abusive relationships. I also specifically want to talk about Prisoner again because I find Tillian's perspective on his psychedelic trip to be so fascinating as I previously mentioned and I think that probably is what makes it my favorite song because there's so much psychology to someone's experience with psychedelic. If you're a Dance Gavin Dance fan, 
you are gonna be pleased, you're gonna love this album. If you've never heard this band before, you're gonna be confused, but you have nine whole full length albums to check out as well as many other songs by them and I highly suggest this band to you. Okay, that's all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Please give this video a like if you enjoyed it. I'd love for you to subscribe to my channel as well. Please leave a comment down below letting me know if you checked out the album, if you like this band and what you think of it. You can also follow me on my social medias. My Instagram is Julie underscore counseling. My Twitter is Julie counseling with no underscore and my Facebook page will be linked down below as well. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Bye guys.